fake Victor's death? Come on, nobody's gonna buy that. They'll Todd. buy it if we do it right. Yeah, how do you propose we do that? Well, I'm working on it. We just need a body. Why are we gonna rob a morgue? And we need to convince everybody that it's Victor's body. I got a better idea. Why don't you Google, you know, special effects makeup? Maybe we can make a fake head. You think this is funny? This is so not funny. No, I, I don't think it's funny, Taya. I'm exhausted and I'm trying to come up with an answer to save our children's lives. I don't see you coming up with any solution. I gave you his location and you screwed it up. I didn't screw up hey, anything. Victor screwed it up. Victor is running for his life. Meanwhile, you two are joking around about faking his death. Nobody's joking around. We fake his death. That's the only way out of this. You and I know Victor better than anybody else in this hey, time world. Out, so you time tell out. Me. I spent some choice years with the guy too. Sorry to hear that. Do you think Victor was lying when he sent that text? No, I don't. You don't know Victor. You may think you do, but I can guarantee that you don't. Why did he disappear? Because there are people who are trying to kill him. Who will stop at nothing, right? Making them think that Victor is dead is the only way to save him. Just like that. The only person in the world who ever understood me. I want you to think about this. I'm thinking about this. Save his life for what? So that he can keep running for the rest of it or hiding no, forever? No, no, no. If they think that he's dead, then he doesn't have to run anymore. He'll just have to hide for the rest of his life. Wouldn't you rather know that he is alive and safe and that the manhunt is over? I would rather that you hadn't tried to kill him, which okay. is what started okay, this whole okay, business okay, in the oh, first listen. place. It happened. We're all sorry that it happened, but it happened, and now we have to deal with it. Taya, you know this. You got the, the text from Victor. It said this is the way that it has to be. Now, you can protect him. You can. Okay. If we're gonna do this, then we're gonna do it right. Great. Tell us how, please. Well, we need a body, an irrefutable proof that it is absolutely Victor's body. Okay, how do we do that? The same way I prove a court case beyond reasonable doubt, DNA. Victor's my, my twin brother. We have the same DNA. Our secret weapon. What, we're gonna kill you now instead? Hmm. I like that idea. What, what are you doing? It's me. Bring the car around. What? Come on, let's Where go. are you going? Step one. What? Oh. <laughs> hey, man, can you hold on a second? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I gotta kick you lovelies out of here. What? what? But, but she didn't get hurt. I know, I know. Believe me, no one is more sorry than me, but... I got a private client. It's my personal number. I promise I will come up with something extra special just for you, okay? I'm gonna hold you to that promise. Okay. <laughs> hey. Good night. All clear. Uh, I'm sending you a picture of a tattoo. I, I want you to... Do it exactly as is, okay? No artistic interpretation. You think you can do that? For the right price, man. I'll tattoo a rose on my own ass. Are we crazy? Are we crazy to trust Todd and to figure all this out? Oh, uh, the answer to that would be yes. Well, then I don't know what else we can do, do you? Uh, no, and I hate that I don't. Blair, I can't believe I'm never gonna see Victor again. Well, when you guys said goodbye, did you have a sense or a feeling that it was actually for the last time? Well, if I did, I just denied that feeling. I, I, I couldn't believe I'd never seen him again after having gotten him back. It'll be all right. You are the toughest woman I know. Not last year, I wasn't. Why don't you give yourself a break, Taya? You went through hell and back. Losing a child is the hardest thing ever. I can't go there again, look what happened to Danny. We'll get through this. Yeah, sure. Water a couple more scars, right? Oh, <sighs> there's something new that I want to 
talk to you about. What? You know the girl that sold Danny that oxy? Yeah. She's dead. I know Danny's wife. Well, Bo told me, I think he told me because it happened the night that she was at my club, but what Bo doesn't know is that Todd thinks that, well, that Danny's overdose wasn't an accident. Right, because the people that were after Victor are the people who shot at you. Mm -hmm. The same people that gave Danny the bad drugs. And Danny got the drugs from that girl, Brianna. Yeah. So what you're saying is that her overdose wasn't accidental. That's exactly what I'm saying. They killed her. I think that they did, or at least I mean, whoever they are. What the hell's going on? There? I don't know. But all I know is that Todd's plan has got to work. On the next One Life to Live. Is there any way you can forgive me? Tom is here fighting for our lives. Where the hell is Victor? One day, six people. Now I'm really confused. You don't tell me what's going on. How am I supposed to help you? Oh, wow, the Michelle. Is Darian upset about something? I can handle her. One Life to Live.